your power rest upon them right now may your power rest upon them right now that what god will do within one month will surprise you many of you will surprise you in the name of jesus christ i'm not a prophet of doom but i want us to pray i'm seeing an attack in a particular mall in the name of jesus christ we cancel it now don't misunderstand me i don't promote negative prophecies it is because we are a family of faith yet yeah, there are many things that i see that i just pray on sometimes god allows us to release these things to edify the body remember dominion is not saying evil will happen and watching it happen dominion is that is god revealing what the devil is doing and then we use the authority of jesus to stop it are we together now the joy is not negative things coming to happen there are only few things in the bible that are called written judgments that means many things many evils can be stopped there are few that are called written judgments for instance the rapture of the saints and the imminent destruction of those who are not with christ there's nothing you can do about that once a man dies outside of christ you cannot pray and say let the person repent wherever no it's not it, we don't see any expression of that in the bible are we together the destruction of satan nobody can fast and pray for satan to be saved no the judgment of satan is a written judgment but there are many evils that it is within the power of the saints to stop hallelujah since god has brought this issue is it possible for us to hold hands in one minute and neutralize spiritually every demonic plot over the fct do you believe that in one minute let's open our mouth and pray in the name that is above all names we are praying for the fct we are praying for nigeria all the six geopolitical zones we are praying extending our prayers to africa but particularly for nigeria go ahead and pray we pray for abuja the f city then we pray for the north we pray for the south we pray for the east and we pray for the west in the name of jesus the son of the living god we agree as a spiritual family oh god arise and let everything that is antichrist be scattered over our nation we decree and declare and we prophesy safety above and beyond the coordinated efforts of the military the police dss civil defense we declare let there be angelic activities let the forces of judgment be released for the sake of the saints somebody is praying call the name of any area in abuja you know and prophesy safety upon it we declare safety safety all the six local governments that make up this state we declare safety extend that word of safety to the neighboring environment nasarawa state niger state kaduna state plateau state benway state kogi state we decree and declare safety by the power of the holy spirit we extend this word of safety across the six geopolitical zones in this nation father arise let the spirits that make for bloodshed kidnapping maiming killing destructions of lives and properties they come on that judgment in the name of jesus christ they come on that judgment somebody is praying the facilities within the fct we declare safety public private facilities in the name of jesus For in Jesus' name we pray. Please listen to me. I don't even know if we'll have the time again to call those who have been healed. But let me just give you a word of hope and comfort. Please hear me. Do not fear. Prophesy to yourself. Say myself. In the name of Jesus, I reject fear. One more time. Say it. Say I reject fear. Hold on. Let me tell you by the privilege of where I come from and where we started ministry, I've had the... I don't know what to call it now. I have... I have been part of many crises and I've seen many uprisings. There is one thing I can tell you. Fear 
has never helped in any situation i know that because of what is happening across the fct there is fear i know that there is a call for greater vigilance there is a call for greater sensitivity both spiritually and security wise but can i tell you i challenge every father and every priest here you have a responsibility to plant the spirit of faith we are not going to paralyze our lives and activities just because of the activity of evil rather we would pray that god himself will empower the military and all those who are working day and night to see to our safety and to pray that the ministry of angels and the forces of judgment be released in their full in the full force over these evil people are we together but let me challenge you there is one thing i know that empowers evil fear 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 do not put yourself in a position just because you are hearing of wars and rumors of wars now i do not downplay the fact that it is not a nice thing to see people come and maim and kill and rape and do all kinds of demonic things but living in fear will destroy you time will go you will not achieve your goals you will be poor you will be broke you will go down it's a pain to know that our schools are having to shut down because of this vested interest and evil people wherever they are may god judge them both the one who steals and the one who helps those who steal they are all thieves do you agree so when we are saying the forces of judgment be released it's not just to be released on those who directly do evil the entire central system the network of evil may fire from heaven fall upon them but as for you in the name of jesus i place a mark upon you by reason of being grafted to christ and by the privilege of being in this part of this spiritual family in the name of jesus you will not die the lord god himself will prohibit you from going to and being around anywhere where there will be destruction in the name of jesus christ now i want you right where you are open your mouth and please begin to pray in the spirit as we have the request come wherever you are begin to pray in the spirit begin to pray in the spirit please you are enforcing everything that has been spoken outside are you praying all of the overflows begin to pray begin to pray in the spirit if you are yet to submit your prayer request can you wave it someone will quickly pick it and then it will be brought here very quickly go ahead and pray declare over this request as I bow my knees before the Father of glory agreeing for answers to these prayers answers to this request I like you to declare that these Egyptians I see today I will see them no more forever someone pray this is the most accurate representation of your desires the Bible says what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe that thou receivest it and thou shalt have it in the name of Jesus Christ we decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ 